Good evening and uh, welcome back to another episode of Handy Reviews. I am Mr. Handy. Um, we're going to take a look at the second part of the uh, In Detail and Scale uh, Banshee. Uh, this uh, volume is number four uh, and it, uh, it looks at the F2H3 and F2H4 variants. The uh, reason I got this one is because I'm a huge fan of uh, the F2H3 in Canadian service. So uh, I'm going to be using this for when I'm doing the uh, Hobbycraft kit and the Academy kit. So let's uh, jump in. So again, uh, like all the other in detail and scale, uh, here's our table of contents. And again, these are set up... Um, pretty similar to each other. Uh, you've got your uh, development history, uh, different variants, you've got some uh, paint schemes, uh, you go into the details, some cockpit pictures, all the other details, uh, all accompanying pictures. Uh, I believe all the pictures in the detail walk around are all in color. Um, and then we have the uh, modeler section. Uh, these again, this is a new series that's come out, been just, just been released. Uh, I shouldn't say new series. This is a, a revamping of the old, uh, in detail and scale. So, uh, and it is a welcome, it is a welcome addition, uh, to the old ones. Uh, these are, uh, it, honestly, in my opinion, these are, uh, far superior to what they were before. Um, they're nice and thick. There's lots of information and a ton and a half of color. So let's jump in to what you'll see inside the book. <clears throat> so there again is our instructor and, in, uh, our introduction, developmental history. Again, you can see all the color pictures already. Um, antenna location, just like the, uh, the last issue on the, uh, earlier Banshees. Again, this is still in the, the history of it. And we get into the variants, uh, all the different squadrons, uh, and where they were, what uh, what their nicknames were, and where they were assigned. Uh, tail codes as well. Lots of color. Again, lots of color. Uh, lots of line drawings or side views in uh, this this issue. A lot of them. And they're all in color. It's just so much color. It is, this is a beautiful book. Again, lots of line drawings. Uh, we're all, we're dealing mostly with uh, Navy and Marine stuff right now. Now we get into the Canadian Banshees. So their own section, which is nice. Um, again, some nice side view drawings. Uh, again, lots of pictures, three view. The only thing that I don't like from this uh, volume is that there's no real line drawings, no no scale drawings in this one, or or uh, technical schematics. So um, usually they'll have the four views of uh, of the variants, so you can. Uh, get some in just get some detail um like i said the in the older um in the older volumes of in detail and scale they were all usually 172nd scale i believe uh and they were absolutely fabulous they helped you out they checked to see whether your uh, your model was actually in scale uh they had some nice uh line drawings in them so that you could go back and rescribe if you needed things like that so Again, lots of color, cockpit, nice technical stuff of the cockpit, and again, all your instrumentation and all listed. Nice um, pictures of the uh, consoles, and again, we get into the consoles here, uh, line drawings and all the... Uh, uh, numbers showing what all the different instruments are and a list of all the instruments. Absolutely 
fabulous stuff. And the other console. Ejection seat, great for a scratch building. This is an absolutely, absolutely fabulous book. Uh, lots of color, great stuff for the uh, antenna. Again, good for a scratch building. More stuff on the antenna and more walk arounds in color. Armament. Uh, nice pictures of the flaps. So if you want to lower your flaps in the proper way, some great pictures of the uh, the uh, uh, wing folding gear, the mechanisms. Again, uh, you've got uh, a uh, list of all the different uh, stores that can be carried. Again, more walk around stuff. Good uh, pictures of the uh, of the pylons uh, and some great stuff of the, uh, the landing gear. Get into the the uh, sidewinder for uh, uh, the variants that carried it. Canadian, especially uh, again, more landing gear stuff. So again, it's it's this so nice to see this stuff. You can get right in and uh, do your super detailing if you wish. All the color, again, everything in color. Nice diagram of the engine, again, with all the uh, doodads. <laughs> um, and then the uh, listings of what everything is, the naming of everything that's, in, that's on there. And then again, the ubiquitous uh, model section. Um, Again, it's you go into the 144 scale stuff. I believe it's Mini Wing that makes it. Uh, it starts talking about the Hobbycraft kit, which apparently is very inaccurate. Um, there's three or four pages on it. Um, talks about the uh, uh, the re-release by Academy because the Academy kit was just uh, re-released by um, Hobbycraft. So uh, get into the Model Collect 148 scale. And then the last page, of course, is all the issues that are out. Um, down here, you can see the color of your marking series. Uh, it looks like they've only got two volumes out right now, or as of this. Um, there's all your American prices down here in the bottom. Digital edition is $12.99. And then your print edition is uh, $21.99. And like I said, I got mine on um, Amazon.ca. There is your uh, Facebook site for uh, technical references. And then there's a modeling site as well. So, um, yeah. And then information about the author and, again, the illustrator. And then our back picture of the, the cockpit, overall cockpit. Uh, again, um, absolutely fabulous book. Um one-stop shop again, like uh, like I've said about uh, all the in detail and scale books. Um, the only thing that could make this any better would be uh, scale drawings. That's the only thing that could make this any better. Uh, it would be nice to get scale drawings um, and uh, fairly uh, fairly accurate scale drawings would be absolutely fabulous. But uh, again, one-stop shop. It gives you everything you could want uh, about the variants, all the different, uh, all the different information about the variants, the history of the variants, um, the uh, wonderful walk-around pictures, all in color. Just a fabulous. And like I said, twenty-seven dollars, twenty-eight dollars Canadian is what I got this for. Um, like I said, I hope they continue this. Uh, this one I just got in the mail today, so um, I've got quite a few more I got to do. Um, we'll uh, slowly be throwing them out there for you guys. Uh, but uh, if you want to see more of this, just uh, give them a shout on their Facebook site um, and say, "Hey, you know, would like to see some more." Um, I think they might be at the point where they're not too sure about whether they should be released or whether they're going to continue releasing or not. I hope they do continue releasing. Um, like I said, these are, for the price, these are are absolutely fabulous. Um, 
that's it for this one. Uh, if you've got uh, any suggestions uh, of things that I, uh, you might want reviewed, uh, put them down there in the comment section. Uh, and I'll try and get to it when I can. Uh, other than that, happy modeling. And uh, see you in the next Handy Models. See you in the <laughs> Handy Models. See you in the next. <laughs> see you in the next Handy Reviews.